This is the Veteran Fuzz by Thorpe Effects. I've not had a chance to try this in a live environment. I'm just borrowing this off a friend, so I can only go on just trying it at home here. I like it. It's a, it's a fuzz and a boost built into one enclosure. It's a really big enclosure. That would be probably my only gripe with the whole thing, is that uh, if you're a, an occasional fuzz user like I would be, it's just going to be for one song, you know, like a Hendrix moment or something. So this would be a lot of pedal board real estate to give away for like a once a night sort of sound. But if you use fuzz as more of a, an integral part of your style, I guess the size of it doesn't really make a difference. You've got two pedals in one. You've got the, uh, the fuzz, which is basically a, a fuzz face circuit. This is a silicon version. Um, and you have a, a treble booster, which I guess must be like the range master treble booster. Uh, the, the treble booster is more like a parametric EQ, so you have the range knob which lets you select a particular frequency and then the boost selects how much of that frequency as opposed to just being an overall level boost, so you're just boosting one, uh, one section of the frequency. The fuzz phase circuit has been modified a little bit, you've got two additional controls. You've got a smooth knob, a smooth knob, what? Smooth control which does exactly what you would think it would do, it just makes the sound smoother. And you also have a bias, which according to this, it adds heat to the circuit. Uh, crank it and it gets more aggressive, roll it down and it's more mellow. It also adds a degree of mid-range to the sound. So in my examples in just a second, I'll show you uh, by compensating for the volume. Because as you turn the bias up, you gain quite a bit of volume. So I'll compensate using the volume and just allow you to hear it uh, in its most extreme settings.
It's just worth noting that the two halves are independent of one another so if you want to use the boost with a fuzz as your main lead sound you would have to hit the two foot switches one after the other you can't turn them on simultaneously overall i really dig the pedal um, i think it's made really really well looking on the inside i like the fact that the foot switches are joined by cable to the board uh, saves any stress on the soldier 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 joints i guess that probably works with this pedal the solder joints or for the americans solder what happened to your L? Uh, one other small, it's not a gripe, it's just a suggestion. I think there needs to be a better way of holding the battery down inside. There's an awful lot of space in here and the battery tends to rattle around. There is a piece of sponge that kind of traps it between the foot switch and the front of the enclosure. But uh, when, uh, when my friend gave me the pedal, the back battery was rattling around all over the place. Um, yeah, I, there's a lot of space and it could do some damage to other components or, or maybe the, uh, the cable holding the battery on. So some way of clamping it down inside would, uh, would be useful, I think. If you've managed to make it this far through the video, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give me a like, share, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I'll chuck a link in the description to Thorpe Effects, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.